Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me easy, soft, glam, holiday makeup tutorial. That was a lot right there. But we're gonna be doing a full face today, so we're gonna be going from this to something a little bit more put together and polished. Um, so let's just go ahead and get right into it because I'm super excited to show you guys how I create this look here. So I'm first gonna be starting off by prepping my eyelids. I'm just gonna be using a concealer. It's my favorite way to prep. So I'm just using the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Concealer. I really like this as concealer and also as an eyeshadow base. I feel like it's like that perfect consistency. Now I'm taking this Real Techniques to Tempurash, which I also use for concealer, but I also love using this to prep the eyes. And I'm just gonna be applying this all over the lids. I asked you guys over on Instagram to tell me what type of look you wanted to see, a full glam, or if you wanted to see a soft, easy glam. And soft, easy glam won, but I also saw a lot of you guys really like the look that I did in one of my past videos. I think it was my haul. So I'm gonna be creating that eye and then just changing the lip. Half the eyes prepped, we're gonna be moving on to the shadow palette. I'm gonna be using this palette right here. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals Palette. I literally use this palette all the time. It's definitely been my go-to ever since it came out um, during the fall. Like I've been using it all fall and all winter. I actually had to clean it because it was so dirty and I was like, there's no way I'm going on camera with that palette like that. You guys will judge me, but that's how you know that somebody really uses their palette when it's literally like just super used, you know? So I'm gonna be starting off with the shade Just Barely right here, and we're gonna be using that as kind of like a base for our creases. Now we're gonna be going in with Good Vibes right here, and also applying that all over. This look is really, really soft, which is why I feel like a lot of you guys liked it, because I was like, I didn't really do much there. Like I did that look so quick because I didn't know what else to do. And then I'm gonna be going in with the shade Boo Bear. It's a little bit darker, and I'm taking a very little bit of that color and just applying it right onto the depths of the crease, mainly on the outer ends. Okay, once we have applied that on our crease, we're gonna move on to the lid. Now we're gonna be going into the color Chic Happens right here, and this is gonna be kind of like a starting point for our base. We're just gonna like roughly apply it all over the lid. You don't wanna be super precise with it. Okay, so this is what made this look special and you guys like it. Where is it? Okay, so I'm gonna be taking these KVD Dazzle Sticks. I took some of this product. I just applied it all over that base. So you guys can see how that cream shade served as a base for this color that we are applying on top. We have different shades of this, so this is really nice. I forgot to mention the shade. It's called Electric Bolt. And you just really have full control of where you wanna apply it. If you want it to be more pigmented, obviously you can get it to be super duper pigmented by like just going full force with this product. Um, but if you kind of want it to just be a little bit softer, you can do what I did and use a brush. Um, one thing I will say is I feel like you can never go wrong with using something like this during the holidays. I feel like holiday season is all about like that shimmer, glittery moments. So I am gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna take a pinch of some shimmery eyeshadow from here. There's a shade in here that I kind of mixed in with the um, shadow stick. And that was birthday suit and a little bit of drip in. So these two right here. And I just kind of applied them over that, just very slightly over it. It kind of adds a little bit more gold to it. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to create that small wing liner. I'm gonna be using this brown right here from the palette. This is cinnamon roll, and I'm gonna be creating those baby wings and just giving that look that nice, like elongated effect. Okay, we have our wings, and you guys can see how easy that is. That's pretty much the eye makeup. So now we just have to obviously put on a lash. I'm gonna do the next best thing that I did a few days ago, and that was doing a half lash. So these lashes, 
I cut them. But if you're somebody that has pretty decent lashes and you do have the length in the beginning, it probably will look really nice on you to do that half lash and it's so comfortable. Like when I tell you the comfort is there for those, the comfort is there. I'm using the Araceli Beauty Lashes in the style Morelia and I cut them in half. I actually cut more than half because um, I really wanted my lashes to have that length on the outer edge. I feel like it just gives it a really pretty elongated effect. Okay, so we completed the eyes and you guys can see we have our little half lash and half wing. Now I'm gonna move on to the complexion. So I'm gonna be taking the rice primer right here. This is great for my oily skin areas. You can find this product on Amazon and on Sally's. I will also have this link down below. And I just like to apply it right in these areas i feel like it makes such a difference it's honestly my favorite primer i think of the year okay so today for foundation i'm going to be using this dose of colors foundation this foundation is really beautiful this is in the shade 120 light medium and they have a really good shade range and i like it because it's a nice you guys can see liquidy consistency it's not too liquidy but it just is the perfect amount of pigment and the perfect amount of liquid so i'm a huge fan of this real techniques 200 brush and i'm just going to be applying the foundation with it to kind of apply that first initial layer onto the skin look how perfectly this foundation matches and this brush is also really good you can find this at pretty much anywhere that sells real techniques i purchased this at Ulta. I love when you apply a foundation and you just start to see the eyeshadow pop look phenomenal. That's like my favorite part. So now that we have that first initial layer, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to be taking a sponge to further blend it out. I'm using my Araceli Beauty Bella sponge, one of my holy grail sponges. I have quite a few sponges that I really love, but this is definitely up there. I love how this foundation looks. I feel like it gives you a really pretty healthy finish. It's a really pretty buildable foundation, so you can customize it to whether you want it to be more like light or whether you want it to be more full coverage. Like it really does the trick. So I have just been really enjoying this. And I actually also do have a coupon code with a dose of colors. It is the Mexican beauty and you can get 20% off your order in the month of December. So definitely check that out. The perfect time to buy right now because you know, things are on sale and stuff. I do make a commission off of that. So if you guys do purchase, it does help me out. And you guys also get a really nice discount in return. Um, I was so excited when they reached out to me and asked me if they could send me some items. And I was like, wait, I literally have been such a fan of Dose of Color lipsticks. Like stone liquid lipstick was like one of my first liquid lipstick loves back in like 2014 when i was graduating high school like that was like one of my favorite colors ever like i remember it was like such a huge color like so many bloggers and influencers and youtube creators were like obsessed with the dose of colors liquid lipsticks and that's kind of where my obsession with liquid lipsticks started so i really love dose of colors and it's always really nice to see brands, you know, show support and want to like send you their product. So I was like, oh my gosh, no way. This is like a full circle moment. We have this and this is the foundation. What are your thoughts? I really love it. I feel like it looks great. Definitely check it out. And if you're my complexion, this is literally gonna be your perfect shade. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to our concealer. And of course, we're gonna be going back with the Beauty Creations Concealer. This is the State Flawless Concealer that we just used to do our prep for our eyelids and we're going to be applying that on these under eyes to really further brighten the under eyes so that they really pop with this eye look like the real question is what i'm going to do with my hair so what do you guys do first do you guys do your makeup or do you do your hair first i personally have to do my makeup first and then i do my hair because i feel like my makeup sets the tone for everything else applying this concealer i really like this concealer i feel like it's super duper duper lightweight like it definitely is like a full coverage consistency, but it doesn't feel like it's full coverage. So I am just going to be setting it with my powder. 
And for powder, I am using the what powder is this? Forever and Ever Loose Banana Powder by Paladeo. I think it's Paladeo. I think I was saying Paladeo. I don't even remember what I was saying, but you guys were like, that's not how you say it. And I was like, holy shit, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm sorry, I'm not the best at pronouncing things. I really like this powder, it's super lightweight. I started using it about like two weeks ago. Um, it's talc free, which is always a plus. Um, and it's kind of has like a yellow tone to it. So it gives really good brightening, but it's super duper fine. Like it's a very, very, very fine powder. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of some bronzing. I'm gonna be using the Putty Bronzer in Tan Lines. And I'm gonna be taking this large blush brush that I use for bronzing. This is the LA Colors brush. I got this from Walmart and this brush was $2. So definitely check out LA Colors brushes. Okay, and now for blush, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Makeup Blush. This one is in the shade Peach Buns and I'm just gonna be taking it on my brush. I'm using here the e.l.f. Putty Blush. <laughs> I always get confused with blush and brush. This is the e.l.f. Putty Brush and I love this for my cream products. I just feel like it really applies them so well. Um, highly recommend this brush if you're looking for a good brush to apply cream blushes cream bronzers, whatever it may be that you are trying to apply on your skin, this is great. And what I like about it is that it has a little bit of like a glow to it. And I feel like during the holidays, you just can never go wrong with the glow. Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with one of my favorite powders. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I use this in the shade medium. This is the Flawless Finish. And you guys can see I use it all the time. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to apply this in the areas where I have any little things that I kind of want to make a little bit more of like a soft matte effect. I'm gonna do one more little thing just cause it's like a holiday pop look, a soft glam. I'm gonna be taking my NYX Jumbo Stick in the shade Cottage Cheese. I know people were like talking about how this name is like insane. I get it, I know. I'm gonna be going down the bridge of my nose. And the tip of the nose, kind of blending it all out. So this is basically to kind of create highlight on the nose. Okay, so for lips today, I'm gonna to be doing a classic bold red lip because I mean, why not? So I'm gonna start off with the Morphe Mina Lip Liner. So I'm gonna be taking this red, it's called Extra Saucy by Dose of Colors. Another beautiful tone. Like I said, you guys can check these out. These are some of my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time. You can use my code, the Mexican Beauty, for 20% off your order. And here is the final look. It literally came together perfectly. I was like, I have to put on this nice holiday sweater because I think it'll tie everything up together really nicely and it did. Um, but I literally am living for this red lip with this just pop of gold eye. I feel like it's such a classic, timeless look to do during the holiday season. Um, so I would highly recommend you guys definitely dig into your gold eyeshadows and your classic red lipstick. So really love how this turned out. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this holiday soft easy glam makeup look i hope that you guys have a fabulous day don't forget to stay safe stay blessed and stay beautiful and i'll see you guys very very soon for a brand new video bye guys